Attendings in academic medicine get to be known by the things they always say, the questions they always ask. And I hope that my trainees remember that I say all the time, this is a problem, not a diagnosis. Thrombocytopenia, low platelets, anemia, low hemoglobin hematocrit, low white blood cells. These are problems. They're not diagnostic of anything. The differential diagnosis of these problems is long, very long. Frequently get people on here sending me direct messages with their labs, dropping their labs in the comments saying, you know, what does this mean? I have no idea. I can tell you you're anemic. Your hemoglobin hematocrit is low. That's a problem. But especially for anemia, where the list of potential causes is so, so long, the most important thing you need to do to figure out why somebody is anemic is take a good history. Don't forget your physical exam, but in the case of anemia, history is the most important thing. How old is the patient? Do they menstruate? Do they have history of GI bleeding? Do they have a family history of anemia? Do they have autoimmune disease? How long has this anemia been going on? Have they been ill re recently? Do they have any new diagnoses? Are they taking any new medications? Did they have surgery? Were they recently hospitalized? For all the tests that I can potentially send to work up anemia, but it would be extremely wasteful for me to send every single one of these tests, not to mention potentially harmful. Most patients with anemia do not need a bone marrow biopsy. If I did a bone marrow biopsy on every anemic patient, I would cause way more harm than I would ever help myself in making the diagnosis. Way we figure out which one of these tests to send is by a good, careful history. And then seeing that individual patient, what makes most sense for them, what is most likely. And then we can proceed in a stepwise fashion. So starting with initial testing, and then if that's not revealing, moving on to additional testing. That's how we get from problem to diagnosis. Hope that helps. Follow for more information about blood.